Okay. Now, here's a young man. Here's a young funny man whose name I've been butchering all night long. He's from New Jersey originally. He'll be at the Comedy Magic Club in Hermosa Beach this week and at the Improvisation in San Diego the 11th of November for one week. Would you welcome Rich Scheidner. <laughs> Thank you. My name is Rich whatever. whatever. <laughs> got to get rid of cable TV. I've got to get rid of cable TV. It's a monster, isn't it? Cable TV, you sit there going, I should go to sleep. <laughs> but there's still something on my television set. <laughs> Forty bucks a month, this thing never goes off. I got to get rid of it because I actually caught myself watching fishing on television last Saturday. <laughs> fishing on TV? All they ever do is... And I'm sitting at home going, I wonder if he's got live bait or a lure. I can't see what's going on there. What, what kind of fish is that? Turn that camera around. I can't see from this angle. Sit down. Even I know not to stand up in a boat. You're idiots are all idiots. I love watching the television preachers. Now, the, Pat Robertson is running for president because God told him to run for president. When God tells me to vote for him, I will. <laughs> I mean, if I'm walking down the street and I hear a burning bush go, vote for Pat, I heard that. You don't have to send any locusts to my house. I'm always amazed when Baptist ministers play rock albums backwards looking for satanic messages. Won't they try reading the album cover? ACDC, Highway to Hell, seems pretty upfront to me. And the devil has to be the dumbest character ever. The devil is sitting in heaven thinking to himself, well, let's see. God's all powerful. He's everywhere. The creator. Yeah, I think I can take him. <laughs> a lot of people think the Antichrist is here today on the planet. Well, it's not me. I check my scalp. I've got two sixes and a five. <laughs> Come on, this is the Antichrist we're looking for. If they find a person with three sixes in the scalp, Antichrist going to try to talk his way out of it. Three sixes, no, they're not the three nines. Look. <laughs> Great, now we got to find someone with three sixes and a line underneath it. Now, love, human love, is real special. I want to fall in love again. I think that's great. You know, it works out sometimes these days. Once in a while, I guess, when you get together as a couple, you end up sleeping together before you're actually in love. Now, I'm not saying that's good or bad, but there is an awkward moment where you finish making love where you feel like you should be saying I love you to each other, but you can't because you're not in love yet. So you try to say something nice to each other, but whatever you say comes out sounding like, well, you have really good math ability. <laughs> You're going to argue as a couple. You know that no matter how much in love you are, no matter how much you need each other, there are going to be those moments in any particular day where one minute you look at the other person, you're thinking to yourself, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. And your next thought could be, how can I fake my death? <laughs> uh, I was just thinking, just thinking, dear, just thinking. You just got to try to avoid the arguments. The easy way to start an argument is to stay out late, come in when you please. I guess guys are more notorious for doing this than women. And guys know, especially if you're married or living together, you got a curfew. At some time, you better be in that house or come through that door with an injury. <laughs> it's five o'clock in the morning. I got to get home. Tony, break my leg. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you tomorrow night. No, I can drive. It's an automatic. I'm all right. Because we guys want to avoid the arguments with you women at all costs because you women are better at arguing than men are. You have more stamina. That's the only thing I can figure out. Guys just want to get the argument over with. Oh, look, you told me what I did wrong. I said I'm sorry. Argument's over. No, argument is not over. It is not over that easy. We're going to talk this thing out. I want to know your feelings. You're going to know my feelings. We have to have the feelings out here. If we don't have feelings out, we'll never solve anything. Look, look, look. I said I'm sorry, and I won't do it again until I do it again. Then I'll say I'm sorry again. <laughs> Thank you.
You guys know you might as well argue it out with her then and there because women remember wrongs that were not addressed properly forever. <laughs> you'll pay somewhere down the road, bub. <laughs> Just one night you'll be like, no, no, here's, here's the deal. I know it's your favorite show. We're not watching tonight. I don't care. We're not watching. That's the way it's going to be tonight. I guess that's the way it was that night when you left me in a restaurant three years ago, wasn't it? <laughs> Just forgot you were there. I told you, I forgot you were there. <laughs> Eddie and I got to talk and we drove home together. I mean... <laughs> and the worst thing you women can do is when you won't tell the guy what he did wrong. I'm sure some of you guys have walked into that ambush. <laughs> you come bopping through the front door, she's giving you that. <laughs> What's wrong? What, what? You know what you did. <laughs> well, I don't know. See, now the guy's really screwed to the wall. Because he's got at least 30 things in his head she hasn't even thought about yet. <laughs> he's got to start flipping through that mental Rolodex at warp speed. <laughs> God, what did I do wrong? Please, let me be right on the first try. I don't need any more heat at this point. And you guys know if you're having an argument with a woman you love and she starts to cry, you lose the argument. <laughs> White flag surrender, you're done, daddy-o. You can't argue with a woman you love when she's crying. When she's crying, the only thing you can think about is to try to stop her from crying. Oh, well, look, dear, look on the wall. <laughs> Good job, man. We'll be back.